This is the mid-17th century obelisk sundial that stands at Gart Moor, not far from Aberfoyle in Stirlingshire. It's of a design that's unique to Scotland. Only 25 of them remain. The sundial used to stand at nearby Gart Moor House, but this was taken over by the army during the Second World War, and the Kayser family took the sundial down to England. It returned to Scotland sometimes in the 1960s, it became the centrepiece of the Kayser family's private burial ground that stands behind Gartmore Kirk. It was originally constructed for the Grahams, later the Cunningham Grahams, who at the time owned Gartmore House. It's very similar to a sundial dated 1630 that's present at Drummond Castle. This was made by a, a master mason known as John Milne. At one time it was brightly painted, although there's no sign of that now. It has 64 dials or faces. It probably used to tell the time or tell the hours in different ways. The common, the seasonal, the Italian and the Babylonian. These would have different type of dial markings on them. Each of these dials had a gnomon which was either a piece of metal, which can be easily seen, or sometimes it was part of the stone itself. And this would cast the shadow that was used to tell the time. Not all of the dials were used at the same time. Some of them may be used at different times of the day. Others might be used at different seasons. And it's even possible that one or two of them may have been moon dials that used moonlight. The sundial said to have been restored around about 1985. Obviously it wasn't repainted at that time. One of the reasons for the large number of dials or faces is it gives it an ornamental appearance. At the time it was constructed, the Calvinists held sway in Scotland. They were very severe and they believed the only ornamentation that was allowed had to have a practical purpose. But three different types of sundial are commonly found. The obelisk sundial starts with a shaft, four-sided in this case. Above that is an octagonal collar. Above that is a capital or boss. Then the finial is all topped by a pineapple. Pineapple being a symbol of good luck, health and prosperity. The Gartmore sundial is about eight foot high. It's the only one in existence which has the octagonal collar beneath the boss. The skill of making sundials was known as dialing. Some of the requirements are um, very mathematically difficult. Others were much more simple and dialing was even taught at country schools. It's known for instance that Robert Burns was taught dialing whilst he was at Kirk Oswald School. One of the problems with the obelisk style design is they're inherently susceptible to being damaged. There are cases where they've known to be knocked over um, by horses and by cattle. As stated, the Sundell stands within a private burial ground. The Kayser family, originally from Cornwall, had purchased Gutmore House. They sold it after the 1950s once the army had left. Their, most of their wealth came from their shipping companies. The sundial and the burial ground can only be accessed from a small path that leads from the right-hand side of the church. 